So take this door from this to this. So if you have any questions, leave us a comment in the questions below. <laughs> hey guys, this is Justin from Remodelholic. Thanks for coming back. So I went in SketchUp, I sized up the door, and I put a design on it. And Cass and I talked about uh, the final design that we like. So what we're going to do is go with this design right here that has a nice X right in the middle, big tall one. It's got room for the handles. We're gonna use the same hinge locations, but we're gonna update the hinges to black hinges to match the new doorknob. So the first step that I need to do right now is I'm gonna take my sander at about 80 to 100 grit, and I'm gonna sand off this old stain that you see. I'm going to sand that off nice and smooth. Now that I have the door sanded, I'm going to draw five lines equally spaced across the width of the door. These will be my guidelines for when I'm cutting with the circular saw that eighth of an inch channel to make the appearance of the planks. I'm going to take my circular saw and I'm going to set the blade depth at 1 8 of an inch. I found a nice straight piece of molding that I'm using as a fence as I'm cutting this 1 8 of an inch depth channel across the door. Now I'm gonna take my utility knife with a nice clean razor blade at a 45 degree angle, cut off both sides of the channel to give it a little beveled look. So I just went to the lumber store, I picked up the lumber that I need to create the X and the top bar and the bottom bar. The top and bottom bar I'm going to use a 1x8 and I'm going to cut that to length and then the, the X I'm going to use a 1x6. So the sides of the lumber is 3 quarter of an inch thick. I'm actually going to take my planer and I'm going to plane it down so it's just below half an inch thick. I don't want it to be so bulky but I do want it to have some interest. I think it'll look really nice and then I'll go through and I'll cut the pieces to length. I'll sand off the edges, sand off the surfaces of the boards and get them all fit and ready to be glued in place. So I got the two top and bottom pieces clamped in place. Now I'm going to measure for the length of the two diagonal boards that create the X. So what I do is I lay the board across where I want this corner to match this corner. And then I do the same thing on that end. And then draw a line straight across with the straight edge. And then over here do the same thing. And that gives me the right kind of angles for both sides. And I'm gonna cut those to length and then sand it. All right, here's the second X getting placed and marked. So if I just set that on top, draw lines where they need to be cut, it makes a really nice fit. So I just finished cutting the X pieces and they are all sanded and ready to be stained. So one of the challenges I have right now is the door is actually a different wood and kind of a different tone than the 
the white pine that I'm using. I'm gonna try to stain this new wood to match a color of the old wood. Because I want this door, once I put a final layer of color on it, to look all uniform and nice. I'm going to take a piece and do some test staining to see if I can get an even tone between the two types of woods. I test a whole bunch of stains to see how the door and the new cross pieces are going to look. And we came up with the conclusion that we're gonna use some dark walnut. The dark and walnut, I'm gonna do like maybe two or three coats on the pine so it really darkens it up. But I'm just gonna do one quick coat on top of the door because that's an oak veneer. It's gonna take it dark pretty quick so I'm just gonna lightly put it on. So what I did on the door is I drew out kind of a rough outline of where the X is going to be. Cause I don't wanna necessarily stain in that area. I want the glue to really adhere to it. So I'm gonna leave those areas unstained, but I'm gonna stain everything in between it. I might have like a little half inch overlap, but that way it'll have a nice clean look when the two layers are on top of each other. So I'm just gonna use a rag and quickly wipe it on, wipe it off. Um, a little bit of darkness, but I'm just gonna try to not go too dark. I'm gonna stain all these pieces separate so that I don't have big puddles on the edges in between the boards and the door. Once they're all dried, I'm gonna take and glue them all in place, tack them with a nail gun, and let that dry and be finished and see how that looks together as all the boards. Okay, this is how it's looking. Um, it's actually coming together quite nice using the dark walnut on the oak veneer and the pine boards. It's looking quite uniform, which is good. Got some good character in the pine boards. Not so much in the oak, but still, I think it's gonna look awesome. So I went to the hardware store. I'm gonna replace those old nasty hinges with some nice black ones. This is a removable pin. I'm gonna make sure this pin's on top. So this is the top of my door. And so I'm gonna install it on like this. Actually, I might have to modify this. So let me go get the door, let's put it in place. This new hardware is optional. Keep in mind, it does increase the project price. There you have it. We've got our nice new handle. One thing about this handle, I do wanna let you know, this is an exterior handle, this portion. So the doorknob set, I'll leave a link in the description below of where we bought it. Um, but we like the exterior version, so we put it on the inside. You just gotta note that on the opposite side uh, are the screws to take off the handle. So we're gonna put a deadbolt up here that's placed the proper way so nobody can just unscrew it and get in the house. So what do you think? 
Is this a project you want to take on? Tell us in the comments below if this is a project you'd like to try out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell button because when we get new videos, you can get notified. Check out this video right here if you want to see another barn door makeover. And check out this playlist right here if you want to see some more farmhouse style videos.